The Queensland Barramundi fisheries and aquaculture sector produces close to 4,000 tonnes and $4 million in revenue for our state's economy each year. While the industry has huge potential for growth, there is one key quirk about Barramundi that we really need to understand. They change sex. Sex change is an important survival strategy for many plant and animal species, but it can cause a bit of a headache for fish farmers and fisheries managers when trying to control that there are enough male and female fish available for breeding. My PhD looks to answer the question, is temperature driving sex change in Barramundi? Using a combination of laboratory techniques, I look at genetic switches that can turn on and off male and female sex genes. In Barramundi, we think these switches are influenced by temperature. My results will help us to determine if temperature can be used as a way to control sex change in aquacultured fish and to help us understand the impact of increasing ocean temperatures on barramundi in the wild so that we can future-proof our fisheries. Now, while I'm passionate about my research in barramundi, more broadly I'm interested in how we can use any research to create solutions to environmental problems. But this is a huge job and the best way I can make sure it happens is to motivate others to get involved. I love to encourage students to enrol in science at events like University Open Days, give talks at local schools, participate in research communication initiatives and each week I get to give an underwater lecture to the public and throw in some fun facts about sex changing fish. If you're interested in pursuing a career in science, I strongly encourage you to do so, particularly if you're a young woman. Women often have well-developed interpersonal skills, high attention to detail, and a strong sense of integrity. Your skills will help to strengthen STEM in Queensland, and in return, you'll get a career you can truly be passionate about.